Hello, Internet! How are y'all doing this fine evening? I'm doing pretty damn good. That was some boring uh, um, Google account shit where I transferred from a new old account to a new account and whatnot, but otherwise, today was pretty good. Uh, man, it has been a while since I started streaming. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I was fully confident. Hang on a sec. Hang on. Y'all just hang on a damn second. We're doing this fucking shit again, aren't we, SciTech? Little bastard. Anyways. If there's anyone else in the chat, please say so, because I would fucking... Love someone other than this bastard. He, he keeps showing up, and he won't leave me the fuck alone. Anyways, how are y'all doing? Y'all doing good? I hope y'all are doing good. I'm doing decent. We're back with Phoenix Wright. I had to skim through the uh, previous VOD because of how long it's been since I actually streamed this. But I have confidence that we're going to be able to make it through the trial. However, 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 comma... Orc did mention that uh, this game does not hold your hand after this. I, I really hope the, the volume of the game isn't too loud compared to my voice. That seems like a good uh, volume, I would hope. I'd prang. What the? Oh, come on. Well, now the goddamn game's on my- my god- my fucking game- game- uh, My- It's on my drawing tablet monitor now. Hang on. Back of music, text screen shake. How do I go into- How do I go into- There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, fix it. Fix it. That scared the fuck out of me. I don't know why that's such a common problem with some of these games. Like, they always switch to the other monitor that I'm not using. Anyways. Special surprise for y'all. Hey. Hi. How are y'all doing? I'm back to using my webcam again instead of using the PNG tuber model that I, that I used to use. I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot... Uh, better when it comes to to making reactions to certain video things. Like, not to say the PNG tuber was bad. I actually like the PNG tuber. It helps a lot with the general anxiety of showing my face live on camera. But I don't know. I was I was thinking about making these into actual videos at some point, and I like the consistency of having my camera be on. As much as I do love the the little PNG tuber that Gaiga made for me. Thank you, Gaiga. Just uh, you know. Anyways. Enough dawdling. Let's get to the trial. <laughs> I'm nervous. Again, I had to skim through the VOD. Again, I really hope it's now it's not too loud for y'all because I'm gonna hang on. 
Yes, I know. Show my screen. Shut up. Uh... I'm gonna turn down the sound the sound effects for this. That seems good, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that. What is now accepted for the trial of Mr. Will Powers? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. It feels so damn good to be back. Very well, Mr. Ashworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the courts that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hemmer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, well, sure. Very well. I would like to move on to... <laughs> it's good to be back. I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Uh, hey, Gumshoe. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I would, I would explain. <laughs> it's good to be back. I'll explain the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, yes? <laughs> Detective, are, are you alright? Yeah, don't worry, boss. Just uh, forgot to drink water again. You know how it is. Summer Japanese heat. We're in America, Gumshoe. Not of the original! <laughs> Christ. This here's the East Boy area. I promise. I'll get this, I promise. The actors are to run through their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works in the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that, there's. Past that are the studios. Fuck's sake, I. God damn it. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant woman. The production assistant. I forget her name, I need, I need to look at the body again to remember her name. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. I love how they didn't draw blood for this scene. It's just a fucking gaping hole where his nipple should be. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Mm, should I listen to that whole thing again? I'm tempted to listen again, honestly. <laughs> Let's listen again. I'm oh, sorry, can you describe that one more time? I should have known it would be you, pal. Fine, once more for mentally challenged. Shut up! I know I'm autistic, but shut up! Yeah, yeah, live it up all you can, Gumshoe. I was too busy doing the voices, so I need another rundown. Employee area. This is the main gate to the studios. Yeah, okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. The three people. I think the assistant said that she sent someone there. I definitely remember that. That's the case in brief. You know what? Yeah. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval. Do the presentation. 
Attack of Lord of Independence with the Chihuahua Chewy. I still, I still can't get enough of that video. The Samurai Spear was added to the court case. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call this security officer to the stand. Hey, Wendy. Will the witness declare her name? What is that? What is that? What are you doing, old bag? Ma, aren't you a handsome fella? I'm afraid I'll be flustered. Your name, please. Oh, dearie, you don't need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me grandma. Your name, please. <laughs> See, Vesworth has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Wendy, old bag, dearie. So just call me gra Oh, God, this again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Objection! I I object to the witnesses talking to this. Objection sustained. <laughs> Everyone's tired of it. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I'm back. The witness, the witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I said, I was just getting into the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness has stationed at the main... Fuck. Now the witness has stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, say I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. She sure is, Phoenix. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since the morning. Ah, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5 o'clock. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. Wasn't he, wasn't she watching them that day? Like, it said in the flashback, didn't it? You saw the defendant? Hmm. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. This is the part that I'm nervous about. Because, again, I had only skinned through the VOD with this section. So, there might be some details that I might have forgotten or misremembered. This is what, this is what I get for taking a break and not skip, uh, um, getting everything in here before this. Day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Actually, let me, uh, let me check the evidence here real fast. The spear was found stuck in the chest of the victim. Guy matched to the little studios. Yep. Yep, 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 there's peppers. Taken, taken at the gate between the entrance and the studios, October 15th, 2 p.m. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna press her on this. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching Boy Hammond and Powers. Observing, you know. <laughs> uh, observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whoever stop it! I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job! I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway... I hope I'm not clipping the mic with that, by the way. I always watch hammers run through. Always. Never miss one in all my years. Wow. I want to see a steel samurai run through, too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Now you know. Anyway, it was 1 p.m. when I went to the guard station. Hmm. 
Let me see something real fast. This was taken at 2 p.m. Unless this isn't the person she saw. Thanks, Cole Poster. Suspicious. Anyways. Interesting to me because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. My gut's saying that this is where I should present this. Because... Because this was taken at 2 p.m. And if, hypothetically, she was to see anyone there, it would have been at 2 p.m., not 2.30 p.m. Or at least somewhere before 2 p.m. And definitely not 2.30. a penalty, but you know what? Plenty of lives here. Actually, you know I'm gonna press. Two o'clock? You sure? Sure, Spit! Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. Now, now, don't get your skivvies all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. Time of death was. Hang on. Interesting because. Oh wait, no, no, no. She said she said she walked past him right at 2 p.m. So this photo kind of would have been accurate. I know that's definitely not powers, like fucking obviously, but it's like you know, whoever she saw, she would have been definitely telling the truth in that case. Okay. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Music stopped! That means I did something right! Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, miss, old bag. You were saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this, exactly? None other than Steel Samurai, defendant of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss, old bag. This is the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see those powers, right? No, they can't! Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Seal Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Seal Samurai. I love the facial expression. I said this in the last few streams, but I adore the facial expressions in this. I, I know that! I wasn't born yesterday! Sure as hell. No way this court is accusing you of that, Miss... Uh, witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that this person in this photo is Will, Mr. Will Powers, do you? Huh, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What?! Huh? Even that's worth a surprise! The prosecution would like to ask the old... the witness... <clears throat> please... please make known all the... in your... fuck. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you! Motherfucker, this is a court trial. Of course we'd be nosy. Is this your first time touching grass? Anyways, I'll show that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as... Fuck. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. 
Now, I remember I watched the vine. That's horseshit. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth is speechless. She's good. Let's see about your proof then. The man in the photo. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Power Stripper fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. I mentioned that in the last in the last stream that the spear broke. I wish I could. I wish I knew the uh, the key to get rid of the text box so you could see it. But like, yeah, it broke in the flashback. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at this picture. You can see he's dragging his legs. See, clear as day. That's how I knew it was powers. Happy. Or the costume just didn't fit. Like, I'm pretty sure if it was Will Powers, the costume would fit him. It's made specifically for his figure, you know? That guy's just too small. Hmm, so he'd sprained his ankle? Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press... I'll press and her... B -b 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 -b. I'll press her until she squeals. That... Phoenix! What is with the lewd phrasing in this game? <laughs> I saw Power Stripper fall. <laughs> he broke a prop. Sure did! His old samurai spear! His samurai spear? A murder weapon? Luckily I was there with my duct tape to fix it! This strikes me as significant a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. There was an attempt. That sounds strikingly familiar. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me see what this thing is. The murder weapon. I'm breaking the staff has been mended with duct tape. You can see his dragon's legs. See, clear as day. That's how I knew his power was happy. Okay, there has to be something. Okay. Let me see if he's... Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? I didn't get to read that last bit. Shit. Hmm. Are you absolutely sure? Let's take a look at this picture again. So he was walking strangely because he was injured. It does look like he was dragging his foot. See? And he didn't trust me, whippersnapper! <sighs> Gotta think about this. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Breaking the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Do I use this particular part of the evidence? Or is that unimportant for this part of the case? I'm pretty sure this is either important for now or later. It has to be important. Because my hypothesis is after um, the spear broke, someone either replaced the bit and, and, like, and she mended the part that was lethal, or she intentionally replaced it with something lethal so that um, Will could get stabbed. No, I'm just bad. The morning during the run through of the action scene. Let me, let me hold it here, or press here. Who is present, who's present at the run through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, he's the seal samurai, then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate, and me. But who exactly, and what exactly were you doing? Observing! Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through then. Yeah, that was that what that is suspicious, okay. Let 
my gut is telling me that I have to present this when, uh... Hold on. When he, she says she, he broke one of the props. I'm gonna try it, though I have a feeling this might give me a penalty. Not nah, that's a penalty. The music didn't stop. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this. It's not. It does? Oh, really? Sorry. Okay. Oops, that didn't go well. I was hoping to get through this penalty list, but you know. Uh. Well, huh? I think we've heard enough. Oh shit. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is the Steel Samurai costume now? Um. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that that could happen. But I mean, hey! I guess I got what I needed out of that. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. <clears throat> anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Seal Samurai, yes? And it is clear that the person in the Seal Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. I suppose that's right. You sure you're sure, Mr. Your Honor? Oh, of course I'm gonna object. Hold it right there! You can talk possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Seal Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue the, her testimony, please? No need to ask twice! Stop trying to, to hit on Edgeworth! The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go into the studio before then was Mr. Will Powers. No one else was there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this steel samurai, would it? Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Let's do this. Hammer's death was 2.30, yes. I remember that. The only person I saw go in the studio before then was Will Powers. Pressing. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quick. Oh, quiet, quiet, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking past by that at all. Nobody suspicious looking? Right. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before 1 p.m.? Well, everyone's in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention, if they had, I would have seen. Hang on a sec. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy. <laughs> Old windbag she has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. Old windbags has a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. <laughs> it was 2.30. I'm still suspicious. Break in the staff has been mended with duct tape. Oh. 
I know for a fucking fact that... Because I remember the assistant mentioned in the last thing that... Um... That she sent someone there from outside. So that has to be important to this case somehow. I, it has to be, right? If he's leaving at 2, then how could he have killed at 2.30? Yeah, because the, the, the killing did happen during the shoot, but I don't know if, that, if that's important for this, because sometimes some of the stuff that you present is very finicky, so I'm trying to keep that in mind. Uh, trying to... Dragging one leg after... I'm gonna keep pressing again. How do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective! And then after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything! I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. Okay. So, everyone else was at the employee area, and they made their way to Studio One for the shoot. So how could she have only seen Will Powers, especially considering that he was at the employee area, and she saw them in the employee area reciting their, their action scenes, so like, maybe? The only person I saw go into the studio before them was Will Powers. That's my guess. However, however, I'm still suspicious. Okay, okay. My guess is either this photo or this map. It has to have been. How am I gonna do this? Also, by the way, is the game audio good? Is it quiet? Too loud? I just wanted to double check that. Present guide map to Global Studios. What a choice. Of, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't quite get, get what you mean. Before there was Will Powers. Let me double check. You know what? Slightly too loud, okay. Okay, so I turned down the game volume a bit. How's that? Oh, come on! <laughs> you see that too? It fucking like... Oh, for fuck's sake. No, not now! Oh shit, no. What? What do you mean launching? What do you mean launching? What is happening? <laughs> I need to... Oh my god, it's on the other fucking screen again. I hate this goddamn... Fuck's sake. 
mistake. How do I fix this? Help! <laughs> what do I do? I don't know what I'm doing. Everything's broken. I may have to save the game and turn it off again. God damn it, hang on. I... I'm so sorry. Oh my god, this sucks so much ass. If you start on the other... Wait, I could've just... I could have just turned off the game, or like went back to the title screen, went into full screen, and I'm done. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Thank you. Now where the fuck was I? Oh yeah. It won't be moving the game to the other monitor if you don't have another monitor. Well, I can't have, like, I can't see the text without tapping out of the game without the other monitor, so, like, what else am I supposed to do? Explain that! You got a better idea? I'm not gonna look at my phone for fucking, like, fucking chat. That's just too, that's way too cumbersome. The only person I saw on the switch for was Will Powers. You know what? You know what, Wendy? Fuck you. There we go. So I was right. My gut was right. Hold on! Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, sonny! So whenever anyone passes by there, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your, your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyways, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of this photo was printed out the words October 15th, 2 p.m. photo 2. Even if I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny? Even I know. Sorry. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo 2. Photo 2? Oh, wait a minute, I didn't notice that detail. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo one if it really was the only photo? That's right, holy shit! Order, order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. The evidence shows that not one, but two people went into the studio that day. Yet there's only data from one of the photos. Who could have erased the data from the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. Eh, me? You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, and I, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, Angie boy, help! Huh? Believe me, I want to... I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Huh! <laughs> Some people you are, you're a whippersnapper too! Yeah, let me check something real fast. You were correct for, for the wrong reason, but luck. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Ooh. Whippersnappers? Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, that's right! Ah, uh, I just remember something! Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Seal Samurai? Oh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. Even the judge is getting tired of this shit. <laughs> Like, he may be a bit dense, but even he knows, like, this has been going on several times. 
Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that are suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. But Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Bullshit. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. Oh wait, this is the cross-examination. Okay. How many photos are there usually? One a day when we're open to the public, we get more than 500 people. But on filming days or rehearsal days, well, we don't have much money. We never get more than 50 and that's a big day. Do you back up all of the security camera data? She's barely even hiding that she's lying. Oh yeah, let's be honest, yeah. It's tradition for this series at this point. Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking little pal whose photo did I? I think she's missing the point. Well, who in the heck is was in that photo you erased? Huh, a fanboy. Fanboy? Seal Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. How is that not suspicious? Wendy! They get information about the rehearsal from gosh knows where. This all, they're always hanging out about one was there that day. Wait a second, didn't you just say no one else got it could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Of uh, fucking course there is. The raid has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and, and they're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids? So on the photo that you erased, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? The 2020 video game that ruined word, that ruined this word forever for me. Oh goodness. Order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the seal semi tracking his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be about second or third grade. I oh, guess. Well, we see his top here there every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. Boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I couldn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. The scrum will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Promise, Your Honor. As for me, I am also going to be taking a, a recess for maybe like 15 minutes to get up and stretch. You guys enjoy the music. Hey, Will. BRB.
Howdy, I've returned. How are y'all doing? Did y'all enjoy the music while I was away? I enjoyed a good old bag of chips. Try starting his load of laundry, but apparently someone put their load in before I could and hadn't even started. And you would think that me just starting it would be preferable, but you'd be surprised what happens in this house. Mr. Powers? Yes? But tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I did go to the studio. Or didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So who was the steel samurai in that security photo? Full loop. How should I know? Steel samurai costume was off at the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You shouldn't take better care of your stuff. I could imagine anyone would want to steal a steel samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are, you, what are we gonna do? First, we play for one more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day! Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You, you don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> okay. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> One, two, three, you better cry. Now go ahead and cry. Court will now, <clears throat> court will now reconvene from the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on the matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hot evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order! Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. You say that except every other defendant that I've defended for so far has been innocent, so... You know, you know, I call bullshit. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you'll be penalized. Right, great, as if the stakes weren't high enough. So who was the person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? I have an idea. Not the assisting girl, not the grade school boy, the security lady. It was the security lady! Wendy Oldbag! Who? The seal samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one other pers person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Oldbag. Not to mention, not to mention... She was the one who fixed the, the prop for uh, Mr. Powers. So, I de hypothetically, she could have grabbed something that could have been lethal, like an actual spearhead instead of a fake spearhead, and taped that part on the broken prop instead. You ever think of that? What? We're for snapper! Order! Order! Is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's me so bad to you! Miss Oldbag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Seal Samurai costume. That slipped into Studio One, the seat of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Seal Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. Oh, I see. Excellent de deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh, yeah, right there. Sherlock Holmes, too, baby. That's odd.
Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump with an objection at some as in some new damning evidence? Yeah, that is weird. Like, what the fuck? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, so y'all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there and do something. What's my move? Maybe now it's my chance to take this the whole way. Give Granny a break! <laughs> okay. Alright, you know what? No! What's a movie? Now's my chance to take this the whole way. My gut's saying press further. But... I don't want to give Granny a break. Press further! The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to ca cast doubt on Mrs. Oldbag's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings. I don't really care. Wait a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photos I erased! He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter! When I was at it, I could pin my old man in ten seconds time! I... What? Freezing, old bag! Freezing! That doesn't mean what you think it means nowadays! Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not... Killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is, is it to, or is it be nice to the kids and mean your eldest day whippersnapper? I have proof. P proof? Indeed. The less said this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? We didn't. <laughs> we did not. Check this. Oh fuck, what's the proof? Glad I have infinite time for this, holy shit. But... Spear. Take that! Take that! Your Honor, the murder weapon was the Samurai Spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible! Are uh sure? -huh. Well, would the witness care to com comment on this? Murf. The windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. The court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Mrs. Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. The prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. <laughs> yes! He said it! That is all. This court is adjourned. I somehow made it through that. Oh my fucking god. What now? I'm not gonna just sit here while you run up barking up the wrong tree. Me? I'm talking. Oh great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Mrs. Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Th not to talk about? By who? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify! Who the fuck could have possibly told you this not? Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studio on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend he hadn't been at the studio that day. But if you're going to accuse me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free! Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information! Why did you keep this from the courts until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap! And I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. 
God bless it. When he's, he's quiet about something, there were some other people at the studios the day of the murder. <laughs> oh, let's press! Who was this person? Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! Yes, well, I was surprised no one talked, no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? It was a Studio 2? Yeah, it was blocked by that tree in the monkey head, remember? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate all the way to the left. The path of the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but let's continue the cross-examination. Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus and you still talked? <clears> hmm. <throat> I think I've asked all the questions I had to ask. No, continue. Sorry for looking at my lips, there's still uh, Doritos dust on it. So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. I'll kill this woman, I swear it. I feel sorry for Edgeworth almost. She really left him hanging on this one. Nick, I guess pressing her was the right thing to do. For an old windbag, she sure likes keeping secrets. Let's get as much information as we can. Girl casually telling the court that she committed two crimes. <laughs> yeah, I honestly... Like, honestly, the fact that she's not getting arrested for those, at least, is, is really telling. Like, I know this is a murder trial, but for Christ's sake, she admitted to getting bribed for fuck. Not for fuck. For fuck's sake. Mm. Alright, I think this has everything we have so far. Studio 2 trailer. Oh my god, is she? I don't know why I feel we need to check that, it just it feels important. Uh, I think that's everything. Your Honor, we have learned where we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and some big wigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Mrs. Oldbag. And more information about these other people we have just been told off. <laughs> sorry, Edgeworth. Not sorry. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings of the trial of Mrs. Derwill Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. Okay, then. October 18th, 104 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, oh, really, it's nothing. Oh, or should I say... Or should I... <laughs> well, we'll be going... That's Phoenix. We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. You have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witness for certain. So how's my so now's my chance to get material for the cross examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who it what was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. I really don't. Edgy is dying inside right now. <laughs> he is. Uh, he really doesn't want to deal with that, with that old woman any more than he has to. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the reason he didn't pounce with, like, some new evidence is because he just wanted her to get, like, arrested so he didn't have to deal with her. And I, you know what? I don't blame him. Well, he wasn't winning any points in there. Or with, without my, or, with or without my accusations. <laughs> okay, let's get down to the studio. Right. We'll be back to visit you. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> To be continued right now. Big progress, of course. I'm gonna save here because that was just during the trial, anyways. Like midway through, I mean. October 18th, Wright and Co. Law Offices. Whew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, you think WP has got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studio! Well, first, let's talk. What to do? What do you think we should do? What do I... Huh? Why don't we... What do we do? Wait... Sorry, I'm so flustered I can't speak. Why don't we do what you just said? You gotta get to the scoop on this director and producer. Oh, right. Then there's no point in hanging out here. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to the studio pronto! <clears throat> mm, you don't have enough information to make a case yet. That's exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. It's always fun talking to her, you know? Let's go! Yahoo! Imagine not doing a no save run. I don't have to imagine it. I'm doing it right now. No one's here. Right. Now that they have Mrs. Lowbag in custody, I guess they don't have anyone to else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station! Look, she left her donuts! What? What? I wasn't going to eat them! <clears throat> I was looking around really, really fast. See what we have here to examine. Looks like a studio, man. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. An overhead map of the studios. Right from here is the employee area. The left area is the actual film studios. Okay. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Huh? It looks like he's been turned off for the day. Not to me, buddy. It just... The security guard station. This is all bag must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on the desk in there. All right. Main entrance to the studios. They probably have a police officer on patrol out there. How much you want to bet it's Gumshoe? Uh, outside studio one or employee area? I'm gonna go with employee area. <clears throat> Global Studios employee area. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! It's you! Betty! Oh my god, you're so cute! Hi, uh, WP lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Good job, guys. 
Oh! <laughs> uh, don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh! Oh, uh... <laughs> Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that train. You mean that one? <laughs> she just used cardboard! <laughs> God damn it! Wow, what a mess. I... I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and backdrops, right? R right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh? Oh! Well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Oh, goodness. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Mrs. Oldbag. Right! See you later, then! Good luck with your investigation. The game is a great example to why you shouldn't name your characters while you're high. Are you kidding me? No! That's amazing! Have you seen some of these names? Windy Oldbag! How could you not love Windy Oldbag? Will Powers? Miles? It's good! What are you talking about? It's absolutely amazing! Honestly, I want whatever they had, because I want to name the character. I want to have the same talent they had naming their characters. For my characters. So, the fanboy we're talking about in the trial today. They were talking about in the trial today. He came through that train? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey Nick. If that train's covered, if that train's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? No! Maya, no! What do you want to... What, do you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious. Uh-oh. Why am I given this option? <laughs> for fuck's sake. Okay. I honestly don't know. Would it be beneficial to rip it open? God, my throat hurts. Uh, titties, titty, 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 titties. Fuck it. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? There! That should make the kids happy. The things we do. The drain gate is off. I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Doesn't it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so guilt-free. Did that do nothing for in the benefit for the investigation? Did I just... Did I just let Maya commit a felony with... With... <laughs> my god... The grate that was used to cover up the drain. It's a little bent. I don't think it would fit if I tried to put it back. Oh my god. There's a half-finished backdrop for a stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo old Tokyo castle. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I would love an electric-powered bicycle. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Do you know how fucking hard it is to bicycle uphill? Like, if I wanted to get exercise from a hill, I would have just walked. Like, Christ almighty, Nick. The remains of the other day's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. The most steak in the plates minus the steak. Imagine if Walter White was named... Just, just not my type of humor. That doesn't... Okay, Metly Blue, I get the joke. It's supposed to be like, play on Blue Meth, a purple guy. That's not a pun. That's not even a pun. What are you talking about? Also for the record, Metly Blue is hilarious. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep... 
Um, what else would they keep in a film studio? I think these are just the same things um, as last time I was here. Now, it isn't that hard. Easier than walking, anyways. <sighs> what do you mean? Have you actually tried to cycle uphill? What do you... What the fuck? Are you just built different? Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Uh, so normal. Yeah, it's the same as last time. It's sold out. God damn it. We've borrowed that. There's a difference. Okay, that is a little different. It's frosted. Okay. Already interacted with everything here. Move. Dressing room. This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Powers said, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh. She's got a point. Always examine. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. This looks to be Mr. Powers' personal clothes. Looks like something, someone's sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap while you like he said. It's locked! There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must give these to the employees. Eating cookies. Wait, Nick! What now? These snacks! They've passed the expiration date! Then don't eat them. Uh, they're snacks! They're meant to be eaten! That's the real tragedy of this whole murder case. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair is still nice and spiky. Just like last time. Hey! Supermarket tabloids? Oh, I'm kinda shocked. Maya, leave those alone! Men found on Mars? I'll have to buy that issue. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Is there nothing else here? How high is this hill? It's usually a bit or at least slightly easier unless it's comically high. I know from experience, I live in a city with lots of terrain variety. Usually at a decent slope, like, even at a... Like, it depends on... <sighs> My god, I feel dumb, but, like... I got nothing, okay? It's usually harder to, to cycle on a hill than it is on regular, like, flat terrain. <laughs> Takes a little bit more effort. Oh, hi, Penny. Oh, hello. Oh, you look like a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternate guard fashion thing. I just want to talk to you a bit. So how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me to disturb the evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah, can you believe it? Do kids think in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, So, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old windbag's eyes flash when he sees him. She has, she's had a bit of trouble catching him, though. The director at all. I heard something at the trial today. It said that the director and producer were here for the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Okay, then. Let's go to Studio One. Hey, Nick. It looks like the Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. 
He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotions at today's trial. So, Nick, remember that Studio 2 we heard about in the trial today? It was down the path from the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are here today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. You are the woman. Let's go! This place is deserted. Eek! Nick! What was that noise? It sounded like he came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious, if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. So what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it! If they'll let us. Wait, why is that thing bent there? There's some flowers here. How oh, pretty! They're taking good care of these! I love how after that, and after I examined that, suddenly it's as if there's nothing going wrong. Don't get too close, the fence looks dangerous. Let's just get to the... Let's just get to the, uh... Studio main gate. There we go. What the... Fanboy, director... I, I... I... Weren't we trying to get a fucking... Oh, there we go. Oh, please, don't touch anything in here. The security lady would knock the stuff thing out of me if she knew. I really want the key to that trailer. Maybe next time. Least broken fence in a rural, in a rural, rural, rural area. Okay. I don't get the joke there. Moving around the areas is a little cumbersome. Light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it's run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a driver's license? But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? <laughs> Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left of the plates. Hey, so they ate a T-bone steak too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. That'll probably be important for later. An incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. It must not clean much. The trailer door, it's locked. The key's probably in the security guard station. I doubt they let us borrow it. One closer inspection, the trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think if this is part of some temporary film set. These, these look like materials from making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. Okay, but seriously though, I are we just going to acknowledge that after I left to get the key for the trailer, all tension in the scene was just gone. The music, everything. Just gone. I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't... I can't blame them, honestly. Steak pill community. Okay, then. I don't know what that means. Well, I have a vague idea of what it means. 
But seriously though, I was trying to get the key and now they won't let me get the key. What is happening? What do I do? <laughs> what do I do now? I have a feeling that the lack of attention means they, that they left. Yeah, but they heard a thumping inside the thing, so obviously someone or something happened, even if the person's left. That's that's still cause for alarm, you know? But genuinely though, what the fuck am I doing? Did I miss something here? Penny, help me out. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it is a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. <sighs> Let's just examine. That's not what I meant to click on. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Hey, smile, Nick. You're a star. Stop that. Yes, yes, I am. Looks like a backdrop of the first stage. It must be using the Steel Samurai show. Of course! That's Mount Neo Fuji Fu Fujiyama? Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from here? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. Once again, I think this line was specifically referenced in uh, Project Eden's Garden. Okay. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. What are those black and white boards they clap at the start of the filming? And look, a megaphone! A real life megaphone! Ready, Nick? Action! <sighs> this girl's more trouble than I thought. <sighs> when do you mean more troubled? That's for reflecting light, yada yada yada. Okay, well, that's everything I can I can feasibly look around. But genuinely though, where do I go? I was given the task to get a key. I went to get a key. Now I can't get a key. There's nowhere else to go. What do I fucking do? I can't go deeper into the studio. I don't know what you mean by even better that way. What's even better what way? The key's probably in the security guard station. I doubt they let us borrow it. I need that key. I'm begging you, please. Let me take the fucking key. Wait, have we been to the detention center? Hot take. Girls with mental issues are automatically good. I mean, thank you, but also, eh? Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going to the right direction? Hmm. Sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. You can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Y yes. <laughs> do her... <clears throat> do... Uh... Fanboy sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. A security lady's pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. 
Also, isn't Maya like 14? Was the director pres present at the morning run through? Yes, yes, he really was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate would move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, just this. Uh, just this. Pech. Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick, here's a newbie lawyer, fresh out of the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I, I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. You're 15? Okay, then. Still suspicious. Alright, for seriously though, what the fuck do I do? I... I'm so confused. There's nowhere else that I can move to. My one objective is blocked by Penny here. What do I do? I guess let's double check the employee area. Nothing here. I refuse to look anything up. I will. I will get. I will figure this out on my own. I figured it out of my own volition. WTF? Who are you dudes? Oh, my... oh no! No, no, no! I forgot about this guy! <laughs> <laughs> My friends told me about this guy. He, they warned me that I was gonna have to deal with him. No! Huh? Wait, wait, you first! Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever, Labor. Now, can you not know? Now, can you not know this very salmonella? Oh my god. I take the leech shoes, the steel samurai, mine, RTFC. Read the film credits. Really? You're the salmonella? <laughs> they just explained why. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I just, you look so sorry. Oh god, you look so gross. No, no, quite all right, really. It's fine, Rahul. What is it? You're now on the closer inspection. No, 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 no! <laughs> he is a bacteria! Ah! Oh my god, no. No! No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, I hate, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I fucking hate it. Fox source? What? Hey, you're drawing! Stop, no, I don't want to read this. I don't want to read this. Oh my god. Yes, I know. He might as well be the bacteria. He's so gross. You triggered my creative power. Yes, yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. Let's go to the Serf Samurai. Pink Princess, warrior of little old Tokyo. I hate it so much. Raffle the mouth. Pink Princess? Why it's gotta be little old Tokyo? Why can't it have a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. Oh my god, I hate this guy so much. 
I hate him so much. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Well, I know you do, Doc. Huh? That security lady told you about us, eh? That's right. That was pretty regular, but we had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Got a meeting from lunchtime, studio to trailer. <laughs> I was so crazy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah, sucks, sirs. I ain't missing out on f <sighs> Stop sticking out your tongue! What do you mean? He looks like my friend Philip. Get better friends! Nick, what does suck sores mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after 4 p.m. with the producer and some big wigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30 p.m. If he's telling the truth, that means... You get, I mean, that meeting gives him an alibi. Oh my god, I hate this guy so much. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D Vasquez? She's a genius! Mad skills all the way! Scary, though. Stop saying that out loud. Please, stop saying that shit. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She was the one who made it possible for me to make the steel samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. The big wigs. Who exactly are these big wigs people keep, people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also, if you produce construction guys. It piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Made attention. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. Mm, sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. You just can't withstand his power. It compels me. It repels me. Can I, can I get away from this guy, please? Good fucking bye. I have to examine something in there, don't I? Fuck. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. I, I, uh, ate them. They were past their expiration date anyway, Raffle. She's biting her lips and staring at me with tears welling in her eyes. You already know about those. There was no point, there was no point in me coming in here. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Aha! I never thought I'd say this. I'm so happy to see you again. Again. Yeek. How rude! It's like you've seen a ghost. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away. They did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume, told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess I would rather her being the murderer. Anyway. No, there's Whipper Stoppers. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone who's sealed lips. Starting now! One, two, three! This lady's too much. Don't you think you're overreacting a bit? He's just a bit awkward and cri- A bit awkward and cringe. So let me get this straight. You think a sweaty neck beard sticking out his tongue and drooling for a 14 year old he just met is only awkward is awkward and cringe? Okay, you know what? You know what? No. No. Oh my god. No. 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 I ain't having this argument. Hang on. How do I do this? What am I doing? No, no, wait, no, this is supposed to be some of the cool shit, no! How do I, how do I, what am I doing?! Fuck! Hang on a second. I know how to fix this. 
I know exactly what to do in this situation. You. Come on! And the game moved to the other's monitor again. Okay, hang on. I'll fix this. these options were in the game by like default on the on the options screen like this is this is super awkward having to to leave the game uh and then go all the way back to the title screen to fix this all right there we go it's fixed although there i kind of want to figure out a way to pop out this chat um on on a fucking what's it called In OBS, there's a uh, there's a little section for um, spamming emojis like hearts and party poppers and stuff. For some reason that blocks names. I don't know what why that is. Whatever, it's fine, I guess. It happened again. This is really starting to get on my nerves. So guess who just discovered that the fucking full screen resolution was very blurry? Hang on a sec. How much better does this look to you guys? Because this looks so, so much more crisped, in my opinion. I can't, I'm not complaining, it's really fucking cool. I just wish I knew about that earlier. Do I uh, snap this out? How about you fucking anything in this goddamn program? Alright, you know what? For now, I'm just gonna stick with this. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to where we were. Holy shit. Look at this, it looks so much better. Jesus. Anyways. Fanboy? Um, about that kid you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. Uh, the director at et all? About the director, the one who was here today on the murder day of the murder? If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, I think she's losing it. Uh, yeah, you do that. That looks so much more clean! Holy shit! Okay. Let's see if the if anything's changed in studio number two. Nothing's changed. Uh, let's go to the main gate. What if I were to examine the thing now? The security guard station. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Hey, no touching! I guess I better investigate later. All right, in that case. Oh, hi. Hey, hey, wait. I bet he came in right through the, that drain. Hey, I'm Kitty O. Well, what's your name? <laughs> I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Huh? But you, you are a kid. What a weird little brat. That's the way to talk to an adult. Maya, you're 14. I don't see any adult here. Hippie fashion chick. Hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackens. I get the joke. It's like code. Call me Kiddio again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. Well, we have another witness. 
Still weird that he's here, but better than the other guy. In fact, actually, I think you'd recommend I, you get away from that guy as far as possible. He looks very touchy. Uh, Steel Samurai. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai side. Ha! Ha ha! You can't fool me! Okay, then... Then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! Easy! Like some fries with that? Hm, not bad, kitty -o. Watch it! What are they doing? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? <laughs> the face. You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? <laughs> he... He... He always... The Seal Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw him! I saw everything! What? But, but no way I'm telling you losers! But wait! Let me go! Maya, don't tackle the kid. Please tell me he didn't tackle. Okay, he shouldn't tackle. He's gone. Huh? Something fell off the table when he jumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was this sitting there? I wonder. Empty bottle. Found on a table in the employee area. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Anyway, what was that kid saying? He... He saw everything. Whatever the hell that means. The drain where the fanboy came in. He didn't waste any time coming in either. Talk about a cause and effect. Okay, then. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want to talk to him. Okay, yeah, nothing else to say. I'm moving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Huh? Where's that old windbag? Honor of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her. Stop! Whippersnapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Notch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya, Maya sure looks happy. Oh, gosh. Oh, 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 maybe we can get the key now. Hey, Nick, now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh, this is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer from Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Yes. Now we got the key. Okay. Okay, what now? Yeah, Mood Studio 2. Okay. Not not examine. I wonder if the key we bought from the guard station will work. It opened! Great! Let's go, Nick! She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick! <sighs> not that eager. Hi, the real gay bitch. Tie tech, this is starting to get fucking tiring. October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Are you the person that saved the studio? I forget what your role is. Eek! Someone's in here! Names. Our names? Um, we're WP's lawyers, and, um... I see. And who might you? D. Vasquez, the producer. Yeah, the producer. She knows. Hmm. D. Vasquez. She's quite beautiful. The day of the crime. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? 
I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Okay, about the Steel Samurai. Um, we'd really like to ask about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about it. Nick, she's telling us to go to watch TV? The nerve of her! Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Sal Manella. I was fucking hoping that he was just a weird fanboy and not the actual director. That fucker's the fan- the director of the Steel Samurai? Gross. What are- exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick, are all people in the entertaining business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Hey, we're not all bad. Just a vast No, that, that I don't. I, I can't. I can't do that joke. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there something else we could have to check? Y yeah. Wait. Yes. If you see Manella, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I I don't think I like her. <laughs> don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right, we'll give it to him if we see him. Last guy's memo added to the court record. And also for this record here. Can, we, can I please move this goddamn thing? <sighs> Fuck's sake. And as for the record here, uh... I'm popping out this chat. Hang on. Hammer. Uh, how about we examine the room? Is it possible to examine the room? The glass is frosted. I can't see outside. This far into October, the dimming daylight makes it feel like winter's coming. It looks like we're they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. We got some figures for how much they cost. The set costs. I can't believe they send spend so much money on those sets. Another old movie poster. The Singing Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. What the hell do samurai sing about? Chopping off heads? Oh my god! That's the move that movie was the best! It's about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune! Yes, Hammer Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing samurai stars. What's next, Ninja Ballet? Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This poster is quite old. Wow, it's been years since I saw that show. It was one of those typical summer romance stories, but it was great! A typical summer romance? With a samurai and a horse? An old movie poster. Dynamite Samurai, starring Jack Hammer. I guess Mr. Hammer used to be quite the star. Yeah, um, Windbag was one of her, his uh, biggest fans. I just realized I'm not showing my desktop. Fuck! Nothing in here that could be a clue. There's some paper cups and crumpled documents. Oh, look at the table. This is where they had that meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Also, I'm gonna call it. This woman's the culprit. I just know it. She has to be the culprit. Alright, let's go see Manella. I don't want to talk to him, I really don't. Hey, buddy! Here, I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13? Episode 13, where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. I'm not saying what he what he says, like Swiss and whatnot. Uh-oh, my ass is pwned if I don't find it! Nick? It might be quicker to just look at all the places where he likely he's likely to have it. I agree. 
I don't want to stay in this room much longer with him. Ugh. Yeah, Orc was right. I fucking despise this guy. Jesus. I'm guessing maybe it's in Studio One. We're back at the scene of the crime. That's why we need to get it and get out of here quick, Nick. Uh, yeah, let's just get this over with. I think it's over here. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. Don't sit in that. I think it's coated in sweat. <clears throat> Maya, take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he left it somewhere? Aha! Found it, Nick! The script! Why does it look so greasy? Good work! Why does it look so greasy? I hate it. You know what? It's your grease. You take care of it. I found your script. Root! Thanks! Stop sticking on your tongue! So, I don't know. I want it to be fair when you bring something to her late. Sam, do you think you dudes could take it down here for me? Thanks! Is that a produ is that producer really that scary? Well, she's certainly not normal. Hate you, 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 hate you. Hate you so much. <sighs> Who the hell is texting me now of all times? Hey. You got the, uh, thing for you? Here, we found it. Your script. Oh. Script handed to D. Vasquez. Um, uh... You're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just hold on! What's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyway? And do you even know who we are? Powers as lawyers? Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well, no, but... Yes, you're a suspect. You are a goddamn suspect. You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon? Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? Okay. On the day of the murder, the path that leads to here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head? All oh, right, that. What an original name. Oh, this music. The head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three o'clock. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after four o'clock. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. 
A crane came just after three o'clock to move ahead. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But wait! What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then he could have gone to the Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announces the time. It ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. It is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15? That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4 o'clock. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See? Good boy. Mm-hmm. Mr. Monkey's head data added to the court record. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Yep, let's go. October 18th, Write and Code Law Offices. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Oh my fucking god. Zytek, I swear to fuck. Why can't I click on the names in the... This is starting to piss me off. I swear, I don't know how to get rid of you permanently. I will find a way. Might take a while, but I'll find a way. They're starting to get on my nerves, dude. Okay. There we go. It's a little literally for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You got one lead. Maya, it's you! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya was having trouble calling me unless she was really in trouble. R right. Oh, wait, I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What do you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way I'm telling you, losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you could find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks, now I'm more worried than I was before. So what's the best thing to do from here? We need to get to the studio and talk to that boy. Any ideas? So, do you have any ideas about who might have done this? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Where have I ever heard that phrase before? So that's where Maya got it from. Alright, let's go back to the studio, I guess. Hey, Wendy! How are you doing? I'm not even gonna call you Wendy, just Wendy. What's wrong? We're... We're for staffers! She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When... When I can't catch him, I... Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I got... I got a... A hostage now, whippersnapper! A hostage? What's this about a hostage? Whippersnapper! When the boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. Uh, he'll come back uh, uh, for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we give him that. Good idea. Miss Oldbag, might I- No! I'll catch that project if it's the last thing I do! 
Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? Trade? Hmm. I wonder. Give me a second, I need to check something. Not, not, not wrong thing, but we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it for now. There we go, okay. I have to make sure to click into, uh, my, my, my main monitor before I click into the game, because otherwise it, it, it displays it on the other monitor. Okay, a fanboy. Um, what happened to the boy? If I see him again, I'll... Uh, I am flat! My, what a violent old lady. Again with the phrasing, this old bag. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? <sighs> My heart. I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right, she was saying she was wanting to visit the studio where he died. How do I get that hostage thing from her? I'm guessing I'm going to have to move her away from the thing like we did last time. Do not move. Same as before. I think. Classic director's chair. Surprised they don't have an extra large one for Mr. Manila. I'm gonna be honest, that, that chair is probably coated in grease. Nothing nothing new note here. I'm a firm believer that humankind was made to keep both feet on the ground. No. Okay, nothing of note here. Oh wait, do I have anything on my person? I'm not gonna get rid of the murder weapon. I I told you who I saw. There it was powers. Well, at least she's consistent. How about this? Hey, that that's a card. Studio one. Oh yeah, that makes sense because she would need that to get into the studio in the first place. Right, a card key to Studio One. <laughs> I I can visit poor Hammer. I like to visit. <laughs> He died. I was his his friend. You don't have your own card, Mrs. Old. You don't have your own card, Mrs. Oldbag. She don't want us in my turf. Yeah, let me borrow borrow it then. If I give her the card key, then I won't be able to get into Studio One. I kind of need it for the trade, so like. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Mrs. Oldbag. Car key lent this, Mrs. Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debates depths to old winter snappers. You take this and we're even. Deal? What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That stinky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have use for this. This must be the old hostage she was talking about. It sure as hell is. Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. I'm guessing the kid is still in the employee area. There he is. Hey! Hey, you! Wait a sec! Phoenix? Was that the boy? Yeah, his name is Cody Hackins. I think he ran into the dressing room. No, 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 no! Dude, there's a weirdo in there! Don't go in there! He's sure, he's sure to be here somewhere. Found you! Damn it, he's getting away! Come back! There, he's back. How did she... Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not sure I'm qualified. Alright. Hey, kid! 
Take this. Cody, does this look familiar? <laughs> hey, my, 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 you are! You are? Huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this if you help me out. But that's my card! By offering me something I already own, you're in effect! Showing the very basis of our consumer society, namely for the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. What do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Christ. There we go. Whatever, I don't need that card. Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went after I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on! Man, if you're grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about steaks? <sighs> Great. Well, what do I do now? The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's the, um, the bomb. Ha! <laughs> what, what a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai. Hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really should yell it like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. So do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm. Looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? Yep. We're going to have to find that card. But where would we find it? Oh, wait. Hey, Mr. Powers. I guess Mr. Powers isn't questioning. Oh well. Let's try again another day, Phoenix. Damn it, I was hoping he would have something. Nothing here. Oh, hi! Penny! Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um, yes? The, um, girl with you? Doesn't she look a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope. She's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course she got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all the posters on the wall here from, of Hammer? Yes, it's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after that, what happened? After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Wait, now you have to tell me. What happened with Hammer? I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one you should, who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? <sighs> because something is being covered up here. And I have no idea where the hell to go from here. Okay. Oh, shit. Where have I heard that line before? <laughs> That's funny. Spaghetti in a soda can? Wouldn't just the sauce come out and the noodles all stay stuck inside? 
best one's land. I guess they want you to drink it in one gulp. Slamming spaghetti. Right. Okay, you and your penis jokes. Let's go ahead and see if you can get in to talk. Okay, there's nothing else around the other area, so maybe let me check the uh, the dressing room again. Oh! Now Phoenix is not quite to look through other people's belongings. Hey, don't look at me! Hello to your sister. Hands are all empty. Glad Maya isn't here to see this. She'd be devastated. Sorry? What was that about Maya? Oh, nothing. I legitimately have no idea what I'm doing. You don't know Samurai Boogie Woogie? You're even lamer than I thought. Why does everybody but me know about this show? <laughs> uh, Phoenix, seek goober. But seriously, what do I do? I'm honestly not sure what to do. Like, part of me is starting to get the feeling that the the stake thing is is a clue. We're at the look. here. The plates. Oh, so much soot. Okay. God, it's hurting to sit in this chair for this long. These look like materials for making a movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. Might as well be a junkyard. Nope. No, not now nor ever until the end of my days. I need a vac vacation. <laughs> it was unlocked. There is literally nothing here I could do. Is it samurai musical set in ancient Japan? A samurai musical? Is that even a genre? Well, I'm impressed. You know your stuff, Mia. Well, Maya's the real fan. I just picked up a little up. Samurai Summer, starring Jack Hammer. This special looks like it's been hanging here for years. This is one of Maya's favorite movies. Maybe we should replace a poster in the office with this one. That would be kind of sad. It's a vapor cup, some couple documents. Reading, documents, papers. There has to be something I can do here. There's no way. There's less locations I can move to now for... That's not what I meant to do. Sorry, Penny. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a damn. Nope, never mind. God, that was itchy. Hmm. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He has desk. Why am I even back here? Ugh. 
There has to be something I can do. Wait a minute. I haven't examined here yet. Not yet. No, 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 no. Clock and the speaker in the monkey's head. It would usually tell the time by ooking. The clock is stopped at 2.15 now. Okay. That was kind of sad. Kind of like if you threw a party and nobody came. Okay. That's the security camera that automatically takes pictures of people here. It took two pictures of the day and the murder of the actual time of death. One of them was a sealed samurai, the other was a grade school boy. Doesn't seem to be switched on today. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that director dude had any uh, of the premium rare cards. Also, I'm sorry if you hear um, thumping. That's my brother playing with this basketball set. So they keep all the film equipment. Uh, there's nothing here. I'm lost. I don't want to look up anything just yet. I want to at least try and figure this out. Though I do need to get up and stress because this is really starting to hurt to sit down, so I'll be right back.
Hi, I've returned. Sorry, it took me a longer than usual. Had to take care of some things. And also something happened that got me paranoid, which turns out it wasn't what I thought it was. So thankfully that's good. Anyways, uh, I'm still under the assumption that I had no idea where the fuck to get a rare car, or at least the car that he wants. Hang on, I don't think I've talked to Penny yet. I don't remember if I did. Let me double check. Penny, not that. Penny, you have, you have literally no new information. Okay then. Well. Sorry to bother you, Penny. Uh, something on my fingers. I don't know what the hell it is. There has to be something, right? Hmm. Okay. Was there something I should have checked in uh, Studio One? Oh, wait. Ah, there was Studio Two. Mascot had fell around the murder. The path was completely stuck between two to four. Okay. Welcome. My, my suspicions told me I should have probably checked a trash can, but like... Nothing here seems to be of use. Offer the day. Hmm. Wait. Have I checked that trash can? No, 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 no. Now it's just... Okay, never mind, I guess. What am I doing? Mia, could you please help me out? Hi, Orc! I'm free from class, you are not safe. <laughs> yeah, especially not safe. I had to ban like, what, five Psytech accounts now, so that was fun. And now I'm kind of stumped. Um... I'm trying to figure out how I can get this kid some premium ultra rare card, and I have no idea. Yeah, it was a bit irritating, but thankfully... Yeah, seems, he seems to have given up for now. Yeah, I need help. Major help. I didn't want to look it up. And I'm... I'm trying to find this. I don't know where I could find a card. I checked everywhere I could possibly check. Talk to everyone I could possibly talk to at this moment in the game. Who do you think would be a fan of Steel Samurai? Well, we have this kid. The director. Maya. I tried talking to Penny, but she didn't have anything. Aside from the kid. Yeah. And, I, and currently, uh, Maya is, is using her body as a medium for Mia, so... Would I have to... Wait a fucking minute. Wait, do I have to go back to, to Faye and Co to Wright and Co's offices? Does, does, Mia, does Maya have a card? Maya have a card. Mia, what's the name of the movie? It's... Let me guess, it's a suspense thriller. 
God damn it. Well, Maya was has actually... I think maybe she's giving it too much. Oh, Maya. Sorry, Charlie. The plant's name is Charlie? <laughs> okay, there's Bellboy happily cleaning the room. Cool. There is nothing else here of use. But how do we get the card? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I cannot for the life of me figure out what the hell I'm doing. I thought it would be like either here or maybe Penny would have something. Or maybe it would be in Mr. Powers' bag. Or maybe Mr. Powers would have um, something at the detention center. But he's currently in questioning right now. The only other place... I can't go back to the main studio one because I traded the car with Wendy to get the... to get the... the trading cards. I'm so suspicious of that... of that fence post being bent. Uh, oh, wait, 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 You know anything about this? Hey, that's your Samurai trading card! I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for that! Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card! Please, I beg you, please trade with me! I was right! Holy shit! I forgot that you could present to other people. Holy gosh. Trade with you? Yes, trade cards! Look, I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card! <laughs> I was right! Trade me a. Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare! Please! Phoenix, can you see she's desperate? What's everyone getting so excited about? Trade. Okay. Really? Thanks! Then this is for you! Yes! And there she goes. Penny's such an adorable little nerd. I love her. Doesn't doing things like that make you feel great? Yeah, yeah, it does. All right, let's go back to the fucking uh, dressing room. All right, all right. Cody! 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 Penny's... She is! I love her. Uh, yeah, yeah, present, present, present. Hey, kid, take that! See this card? Yeah, so, wait, that's it! That's the last Ultra Rare Premium card I need! Come on, give it to me, please! You gotta give it to me! Wow, I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay, how about a trade? You're on! I'll give you a Samurai Spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot! No, 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 no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. URP card given to Cody. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we gotta talk. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, what? What now? Also, you're a lot better at navigating than I am. <laughs> it took me a minute during this stream to, like get back into the swing of things, but yeah, I did eventually figure it out. So you like the Seal Samurai? He's so cool! I... I guess... I'm sorry, I... I guess... You're judging him by his looks! You have to look at his actions, at his life! I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. You like it too, don't ya? Uh, oh, me? Yeah, I, am, I love the Seal Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Seal Samurai is. Will Powers is acting. <laughs> oh, goodness. His fighting skills, his kind nature, or Will Powers is acting. Does it matter which one I pick? I, I think I'm gonna go with Will Powers is acting. Well, I've never even seen a full episode of that dumb show. Actually, I'm kind of a fan of Will Powers. Whoa, that's totally hardcore! You're calling me hardcore? 
So what else do you like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. Don't tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. Are you serious? Uh, his kind nature. Right. Come on, think of something. I really like his, um, kind nature. What a big guy. Totally. He looks so tough, but inside he's a gentle and as a kitten. Yeah. So what else do you like about him? His funny. Gotta think of something. I like it when he, uh, he vanquishes his foes. I think he's eight at least. He's actually seven. Yeah, Wazam! The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. This is my fan album. Oh my goodness. What the, it's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I got... I got... I got... Da, 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 da. I got an every life performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands his final blow. Was am I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow. That's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I got... I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data at home so I can always make another one. Well then, I'm happy to accept it. Thank you. Goddamn. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. All right, let's see what happened. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Seal Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice too. I, I saw, I saw everything. Well, well, we might get some useful information out of him yet. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2 o'clock. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe half an hour or so. When I finally got to the studio, after that... What is it, Cody? The Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. He used his Samurai Spear. Just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I see. It must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. The director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. By the way, yeah, I saw Salmonella. I saw Salmonella. Hate that fucker. One of his sprites was literally him sticking out his tongue and wiggling it. It's, ugh. Hate him. I hate him so much. The director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left could have been... It could have been was Will Powers. I have to admit it's kind of a shock, but if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Well, let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Let's leave this one alone. Spoilers, he's not gonna leave him alone. Oh, please tell me this is Gumshoe. Not so fast, pal. I heard everything. This boy here's a key witness. And he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the press precinct. No, I ain't going. Wow. <laughs> I like to imagine Gumshoe grabbed him by the scruff of his shirt and just carried him out. I was about to say say F Sal, but then I remembered YouTube has censors or swearing. Actually, I think I allowed the word fuck in chat. Try that. That didn't go so well. We're back at to zero leads, and now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we gonna do, Mia? Well, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Come to the trial tomorrow, please! I need you there! 
Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Yeah, it works! Probably would have helped if I could spell it right. <laughs> nice. I believe he's innocent. Of course he is! That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great! Thanks, Mia. See you soon. I love I love this game's characters. Yeah, you can say it all you want. Go ahead and scream it out for everyone to see. Fuck Salmonella! Hey, Will. Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. I want to... I want to punt him like a football so badly. <laughs> I want to put him through a power washer and see if he dissolves. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know, we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? You have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. It'd be like putting cotton- Yes, exactly! Exactly! He would dissolve- He- It would be like- the first up wad hits him. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, drop a opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. I love Miles so much. Yeah. <laughs> you better call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the... No! Edgeworth, you betrayed me! Or that director. Oh. Will the witness state his name and profession? I want to give this guy a different voice, because I, I made him sound like this, but I don't think it really fits his character. <laughs> How rude can you be? Oh my god, ew. Ugh. <clears throat> it looks like he's always holding in a fart. He does. You don't, don't know me? I'm the director! I mean, they're still samurai, you girl! Salamayana! I'm a director! Television! Well, you are Glo were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Mm. Very well. Please notify the court about the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I was at the studio for around nine o'clock at that morning. During the morning, I was doing um an action scene right through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard that everyone else had to eat lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting with the studio two trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. But in the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one was a chance. That's about it. Ugh. Just doing that voice is gross. Mm. The time of Mr. Jack... <clears throat> the time of Mr. Hamba's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Looking at his face is like looking at a car crash. 
He can't look away. Let me see what we have here. The clock to the path of the scene of the crime between 2.15 and 4 p.m. In the employee area? That's right! There was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh, yeah, the security leader was sitting there watching the whole thing, lol. She was cheering on camera, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? The officer so far. <laughs> oh god, I don't have to do the voice during this section. How much time? Why did it go why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this, but then he appears to touch his ankle through the rock through the sea. Oh right, that's the limp. But of course, this adds me to missing my large Roths. Roths? Rolling on the floor, starving? Don't try and translate it, Phoenix. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak, please. Could you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? I remember specifically in Studio 2, there were plates of food that were already eaten. However, there was no bone on the steak like the like in the employee area, but I think it's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd, now that you mention it. Mr. Manoa! <laughs> what do you want, Slash? <laughs> when I went to the studio to you, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? It's a call, Slash! I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did me after all. Oh, stop with that sprite! This was sp a, the specific moment I was thinking of when I mentioned overthinking it. Yeah, I figured. A T bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, for your sister went through all that trouble. I ran into the chamber thinking I could eat it later. I hate you. Clearly, a man who likes to eat, I suspect as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took a break during that reading. I, uh, woke it down then. <sighs> mental image I will carry with my head. A <laughs> mental image I will carry with me to the grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. What were you discussing? The Seal Samurai story in our budget. Get this, but Slashes turned to me and said, Mr. Manila, those scriptures are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Actually, I kinda can. Fucker looks like a Redditor. So nobody left the table during the whole meeting? to press him on this again. Yeah, 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 it is contradictory. Yeah, yeah. There were two plates in the same time. Who is there? Uh, good call. I, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. Ugh. A team on sake, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through that trouble. And that, it helps with future tra okay, yeah. That's just continuation of your last comment. Clearly a man who likes to eat. We took one break during that meeting. One break during the meeting. Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
How do I press him on that further? I think it's this one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna press on everything else for this. Disgusting. Mm -hmm. You didn't take a single break? Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> not one. What's he sweating so much about? I wonder. If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate a T-bone steak during a break? Oops, you're awful. Well? Um, Mr. Manella, what is this about? Well, yeah, I just need to take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify the court about his break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. <laughs> okay, now he begins to pounce with evidence. Uh-oh. Edgeworth is laughing. Yeah, if you like of you, we took a break, Raffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 in base 12. There's about time for someone to say come and murder in one studio was low. That's only just enough time to get a team on steak if that's me. Steams. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, let me begin the cross-examination. Who's fucking revving their engine out there? But it's only 15 minutes. I'm gonna hold pressing just in case. What were you doing during those for those 15 minutes? I my table safe, Ralph! There were two plates on that table? Alright, you're all sleepers. Try D Vasquez plate. D Vasquez. I don't know what the pun in for D's case. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? Do you hear that? You hear that too, right? The fucking base of the, our, our neighbor's car is just blaring. Oh, I get it. I swear to God, this only happens every anytime I stream. This has never happened while I was recording videos. This only happens when I stream. I can't remember what happened last time. This happened last stream. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. And could someone tell whoever's in the parking lot to turn their radio down? It's quite distracting. Wait, how the fuck did you know about that? Why is that? Wait, what? Is that it? My gut's telling me this. Nope. Nope, we were wrong. I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chilly, if you don't stink. Do I have to take my time eating that kind of food? Well, well, Phoenix, that testimony was too short to ring anything useful. Out of it. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to the studio one that time. Oh, great. Is that all? Shit! 
Actually, okay. I meant to press the present button. 2.30 till 2.45. I guess it's possible time-wise. But no. That, this blocked it at 2.15, right? I fucking hope that comes out in the recording because it is so goddamn loud for me. Goddamn sprite. I want to think it's this. I'm hoping it's this. Shit, no, it's not. God, I only have like three chances left. Damn it. Right? One, two, yeah, three chances left. <laughs> two thirty or so until two forty five. What if I... <sighs> okay, now I'm actually just stumped. Damn it, not again! God, what am I doing? And you're not helping! away from my from what I missed. I come back and they see a lot of health gone. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I got something at the beginning where apparently the break was from 2.30 to 2.45. But... I don't know what I could possibly contradict in this case. around 2.30 or until 2.45. Yet yeah, you see what I mean? I don't know what's going on. Shit, there we go. Oh, I did something. I did something. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go in the studio. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to the studio. Hmm. We're Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. 
Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from... <clears throat> do you claim someone from the trailer, the trailer went to Studio One? Some of the things make you go through the dialogue a bit before... Do, before uh, it does the story thing. Okay. That explains why when I pressed in that part specifically, I said why is that, and it just... Yeah. Okay. The monkey statue was in, in the road um, from at 2.15. That's when the thing broke and blocked the path. So it wouldn't have been possible because the break was somewhere between 2.30 and 2.45. So I don't think it would have been possible in this case. No, it's impossible. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it is impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio at that time. Ha-ha! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again, but I see you had at least an inkling of truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right after the time of death. However... The path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mr. Monkey... Mrs.? Oh. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had been out of the way. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Block blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. Yeah, I was about to say. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manila from the stand. But what? It's over? Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in the studio, too, on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio One. They therefore have no relation to the case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Seal Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have the decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Seal Samurai skewered the victim. Oh my gosh. Order! I will have order! I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. October 19th, 11.04 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. <clears throat> don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what, what hope do I have? We're in law week at the moment. <laughs> it's very fun re-seeing these cases now that I've been criminal justice. Aw, oh, <laughs> Yeah. I, I've been actually thinking about um, watching real lawyers either watch people play or playing this game. I still remember when I saw a short of a real lawyer seeing the updated autopsy report scene. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to the Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you're innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai. Here are the children everywhere, after all. I... You... Thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. 
we're talking about how cases are tried and got to figure out in 10 slash what crime they which they be charged with this week. Hell yeah! I wish you all the luck in the world, because clearly I wouldn't be good in law school. <laughs> Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler from tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Nice to see as we're taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. I still... <laughs> YouTube likes Latin terms because it won't let me type out the exact thing. Fair enough. <laughs> Fucking Cody can't. <laughs> I've only seen clips of Cody like actually being able to see above the stand, but seeing that, that's amazing. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Donut crates? There we go. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness? What? Just because you're all grown out don't mean you can push me around. <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. It's already been a long day. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> Witness, er, I mean, uh, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You are pre present, uh, you are at Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just... I <laughs> prefer bearded, ge bearded gentlemen. Oh, my God. Miles is off with kids like Miss like Wright is. Honestly, yeah. A very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <laughs> my apologies, Shauna. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like to special permission, if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with the kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. I'm gonna make a note of it in the court record. Yes. Oh my goodness. Very well, Cody. Please don't to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going to the, for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. When I came by the studio, they, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked! Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! I also love how he still can't see over the text box. That's fucking hilarious. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time of he for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we've seen here, honestly. <laughs> I think you're mistaking his um, lack of sense for vibrato, Phoenix. Okay, sorry about the chair squeaking. It's. Oh, goodness. Was that day the first time you've seen the studio? Um, actually, I've been a couple of times. I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. And that security lady's always yelling. Right, right, please continue. Chill, Pops, I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk with you cutting me off all the time? Jeez. 
<laughs> there is murderous intent behind those dilating pupils. Holy shit. Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in a the valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow. What if the, the people in the trailer went in the woods like Cody did? Hmm? What if they did that? You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? When I came by the studio, there was the seal samurai. Yeah, hypothetically, if there's woods between the path that you can go off the path, then they could have had a clear entrance to, uh, to, uh, Studio One, you know? I don't think Sal would survive if he had to touch nature. <laughs> well, I did suspect, uh, D, so maybe. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy? A person? Kinda tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know, he was kind of far away. Huh, he's being awfully vague. If you had your camera? You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and we went home. Phoenix, remember he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. Could we look through this and, like, see if he took a picture of, of the thing? You know? I, I'm guessing. Hmm. I still have a feeling that Wood's uh, comment would still be... Hmm. Most curious, most curious. Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. So you went straight to the studio? His head wasn't busted. So this took place before 2.15. Is that why there was no blood? Was this a fake? So was this fake? Cause this, the head wasn't broken for for, Sam, for Cody, but like, what? Huh? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Let me see that again. Unusual, monkey head. Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. That was broken at... That, the head was broken at... Yeah, I, I know. I just wanted to clarify something real fast. But you were right that keep an eye on the time. It's 2.15. It was 2.15 when we think. This doesn't contradict anything, but, 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 but this does give us a key, big key piece of information. That this happened before 2.15. My gut's telling me to use the camera or or the path to glory on this. But I only have like three chances left. No, two chances left. I 
have two chances left. Oh, fuck. Pressing always helps. Not everything needs to present. I know. Also, don't forget to save. Will I have to restart from the beginning before I last saved if I, if I don't? Of course I do! I take every show, and I go all to live performances! That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? Of course! Duh! My dad always takes me! Poor, poor dad. You go off the path, there's a little, a little, there's woods. That's where I was. Okay. I uh, don't remember because I never s not saved. Fair. Studio gate. It looks like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he popped up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I don't think I've, I pressed this part. Well, well, he kind of didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I mean, I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yes, I suppose he was. And there goes the base again. That's right. Holy shit. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you see before that you always bring your digital camera when you, wherever you go? You're quite clear about it. Huh? The <laughs> fucking surprise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh, was I putting the pressure on too much. What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's, um, a digital camera, Your Honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? It's so funny, it's like, seeing this game's, some of the game's writing in terms of technology with the, the knowledge we have now with our current technology. <laughs> anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Mr. Wright, how cruel are you are to terrorize a poor child so? That was the... That was the judge's voice. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? <laughs> this game did come out in 2001. Reverend, you still use flip phones and fucking tapes. Which is hilarious. Well, Cody? Why? Yeah, so I have my camera. So why? You got a problem with that? <laughs> so the bots! The bots! The bots! And the sprite! So you... So you did have a camera? And did you use this camera? 
why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The seal samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The seal samurai rules. Hmm. Oh, is that all? Bro, well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. So why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. Wait, hang on. Hold, press everything. I forget you have to press everything. So we were watching the Seal Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Yeah, of course. You didn't turn away, not even once? No. Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm getting to that. So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kinda don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do that? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops! How should I play this? I'm tempted to press him harder, but I feel like... I feel like that might, you know, get a penalty or something. But then again, if it doesn't... Let's wait and see what happens. Yeah, if I press too hard now, the judge might keep me from continuing. I'll sit back and see how the rest of this goes. He's so strong, the seal samurai rules. He is being vague. What did you do after the bad guy, Phil Cody? Um, actually, the fight was so so intense I got kind, kind of scared. So I straight home. Something isn't adding up here. Something about this account doesn't seem right. Phoenix, it doesn't seem right because he's being deliberately vague. Press him on the facts, Phoenix. Find out what he saw. Alright, so I guess I was right. I should have pressed him harder. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Press him harder. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you set... Before you said that, you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. Objection. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Seal Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow! Order! Order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you, you can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Seal Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Oh! Oh, yeah! Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? This. He always catches it at the climax of the fight. So logically, he wouldn't have missed it. Because he would have added it to his album. Here's my proof. Proof? Um, uh, can I do that again? 
This doesn't prove anything. Ha! Lost your nerve, have you? Very well, I'll ask you the question again. What? You're fucking joking, right? Oh, the question was why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Oh my god. He couldn't watch it, he was watching something else. Let me check the court record. He was trying to learn how to use his new camera and was trying to catch the climax of the fight. That's my guess. Being the biggest fan of, Sam of the samurai, why would he look away? trying to think of. That's what I'm trying to think. I'm guessing because he saw the killing blow. I'm trying to be vague because I know why, but I know, I know, you're trying not to spoil it. I get it. You're trying to get me to find the conclusion for myself and then trying. I'm, I promise. I really am. I'm just slow. I can get to it, I just need to think. And fair. It couldn't be he wouldn't watch it, I don't think. Because he, he stated before... Um, that... He got there before the Mr. Monkey Head fell off, so logically, probably couldn't have been that. It was in the woods. What would make what would make this fight different than all the others? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. the climax of the fight because he was looking at something else, probably. Probably. Something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract this boy from seeing his idol the Steel Samurai fight? What do you claim he was looking at? Oof. Come on, think of something. Think of something. Nothing. Please refrain from making baseless claims. Yes, sorry, Your Honor. Do you have another explanation for this? We have ascertained that the young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? So it's not that. The reason I picked that is because he said that he saw, from from what I remember from the flashback, it looked like he was, wasn't watching the fight from inside the studio, which is where the murder took place. But then again, I, I could have been remembering a scene where he saw him going into the studio. I have no idea. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's see. One thing has come quite clear the voice testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight like on TV. Uh. Okay. So, evidence is the thing. Dang, I thought I remembered it being the first thing. 
It, that's what I was thinking. Okay. I'm gonna get a game over. 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 I'm still gonna get a game over. I still find it funny that this is still like evidence you can present. Wait, there was a camera! Oh my god, I should just follow my fucking gut feeling. I remember I said that. I said that he was he was still learning how to use it, so he probably was looking at the camera trying to fiddle with it. Ugh. Gods. Okay. Restart the camera. The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operations. I'm aware of that too. Ah, oh, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids. Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. That's what I was thinking. That's why I chose the photo album first. Before realizing I misunderstood the question. Right! Cody, there was only one reason why he would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having this just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. He means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well, Cody. Could you please tell us about your camera? And why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um... Welcome to the real world, kid. some water oh no <laughs> I kind of feel bad for him now here we go yeah you're right pops the seal samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain so I held up my camera to take a picture but the lens wouldn't open in time so I missed it that's all that happened yep hmm anything strange in that testimony mr. Wright I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. So you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh, I guess the Seal Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving strangely. Sprayed ankle! So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and the Seal Samurai. That's all? Yeah! I told you I didn't take a picture! Mm, I would have had, I would have once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? Press him hard. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's got to be something here I can use. Cody! Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! Hey! Was I? How did you know? 
I see through all your lies, Cody Hackens. It's one of my powers. Wow! It feels great. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Or did you? Objection! Cody! W what Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad! I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I got... I got every life performance! I always take a picture when the Seal Samurai lands the final blow with Zam! I got them all! I never risked one! A perfect collection! Cody, did you really take a picture of the Seal Samurai standing victoriously over his foe? If he did, I find it hard to believe that you wouldn't just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright? What exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Seal Samurai, all taken by Hody Cody Hackins. Hody Hackins! I almost said Hody Hackins! <laughs> mm, excuse me. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see. Don't you find it very odd, Your Honor? Among all of his these pictures, fuck. Among all of his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none of none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Seal Samurai has just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No! Wait! No way! Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And that... And what a truth it is. And what a truth it is! Mia, are you sure about this? Did we actually... Yes, I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what's going on here. Why was there no picture of the album of the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photo he took? The Steel Samurai didn't win. Oh, God. I can't think of only... I can only think of one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N -n -n no way! No! It's impossible! The Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his priest's precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that that steel samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the steel samurai lose, yet to admit that he saw nothing. He saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the steel samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Order! I will have order! Witness, I mean, Cody, is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw! I... Ah! Oh no! Oh Jesus! Cody, that day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> ah, okay, okay! You're right! The Steel Samurai fell down! And he didn't move! Ah! <laughs> oh God, it's so hard to do the crying voice with that sprite! Order, order, order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Seal Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness's testimony, the Seal Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on here? Apparently, we've all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? Oh, shit.
there. Wait. Wait. There was no victim in this case. But what? Has the defense taken leave from its senses? That's why there was no blood. That's why there was no blood. Of course, Jack Hammer died, but the Seal Samurai fell too. It was a draw. Sorry, I was too shocked to say anything for a bit there. Listen, right? Only one person died in this incident, and that was Jack Hammer. Yet now you claim there was no victim? Are you insane? Uh-oh, he's pulling out all the stops now. I'm sorry. It was I who was wrong. Okay, right. First you're right, now you're wrong. Which is it? What? Look, I'm sure there's something we're overlooking. If you're sure, then tell us what it is. What's this all about? Oh, fuck, 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 oh, fuck. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, gosh. I can. I. I guess I will! Fine, I'll save! I'll save Scum, because I, le I legitimately, like... I'm legitimately at a loss for what to do. The steel... S uh... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm confused. Okay. It's not safe scumming if you had no sit for still. I think Hammer was the victim. He had to have been the victim. Like he's dead, so he has to be the victim, right? Quite simply, the victim was Jack Hammer. Uh, Mr. Wright, we all know that. Right. Hammer is... What? Oh my god, okay. No, 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 no. Fuck, no, no, no. Come on! I'm pissed. 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 I'm so fucking pissed. Oh, oh I'm so fucking angry. It was so fucking obvious! What the hell are y'all yelling about out there? It's fine. I'll show it again. Seal Samurai was the victim. I feel so fucking stupid. Oh my god. It does, it does, it does, doesn't it? I feel so fucking embarrassed. To understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai he fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? 
Jack Hammer was the Seal Samurai. Order, order, order! So the Seal Samurai in this photograph. You're saying the man in the costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Oh my god. Hey, Ellie, are you okay? No! No, I'm fine, Phoenix. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Really? You look kind of... Nah, let's just move on with the case, Phoenix. Let's just move on. Everything went well. We didn't fuck up. We're fine. Okay. <clears throat> Jack Cameron was present at the action scene run-through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But wait! Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Mrs. Oldback said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I was right at the car station. I can't even be on bother to do Oldback's actual voice. Brassy Paul Hammond, no. Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going into the studio, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he stuck into the dressing room and stole the Seal Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Seal Samurai was moving strange, so it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? And you too, Grandma! Kid, it's been a long day. You call me that again, and I will come over there and strangle you. Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Oh, how fitting. Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. What? Show us quick. No way, man. Not if you're going to look at me like that. No! <laughs> Here, this is it. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. You're pretty Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like it's proof we need. Why was he at Studio 2? I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix! M Mia, what? What are y'all yelling about? Fuck off! Oh, that photo once more. <clears throat> Sorry. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor, may I see that photo one more time, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency in the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in this photo. It's here. Your Honor, look at this. I see. Okay. gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? What is this? Well, it's hard to say, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? Gah! I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But that's impossible. Hmm? Yeah? What's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shot along with the rest of the corps. <laughs> Okay, this is exactly the levity I need needed after fucking up last time. What do you mean fucking up last time? Don't worry about it, Phoenix. Don't worry about it. Let's just continue. Make him shocked. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in the photo taken at this time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate on the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Studio 2. Here, at Studio 2. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. <sighs> the path was blocked. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked to 2.15. In other words, the victims went to the studio too before that time. Yes, well, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Saul Manella's testimony? 
Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet, in the actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime! Studio Two! As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio Two. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in, a very, in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Mr. Ms. D. Vasquez went out, were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime! Order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Mrs. Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to the Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim! The victim! Why would he steal a Steel Samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did it to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Well, do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. I have proof. You do? You too, Mr. Wright? Now that they're so surprised, suddenly I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. You know what? I'm going with my gut. Take that! This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicion, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Hammer's... Wait, what? Test Powers' blood? Fingerprint the bottle? Examine Hammer's body? Body! An idea, Mr. Wright, and that would be? Er, we should examine Mr. Hammer's body. I thought it was Mr. Powers who had made... Who's made to, uh, fuck! Fingerprint the bottle? An idea? I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claims is true, Mr. Hammers his fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take possession of the bottle. Exa empty bottle given to the judge. I'm running on spiked at this point. This court will suspend proceedings of the current trial for today. Oniaki's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Mrs. Oldbag may have seen the victim as Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And whoever was in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him? And why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's uh, a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Of all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Power. As you say, Your Honor, the shower will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Very well. Court is adjourned. Oh my god, finally! Oh my god. I'm still so fucking salty about me making that mistake. Like, Jesus Christ. So you're acting like Miles. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm. God. October 19th, 2.47 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. <sighs> that was a close one. Yeah, you could say that again. Why do you sound so unsure of that, Ellie? Listen, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. We didn't screw up this time. You keep saying that. What do you mean by this time? I 
I don't want to talk about it, man. I just think I'm crazy, anyhow. Let's just be glad we made it to this far in the first place. We're at the final stretch. We can't screw this up now. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Me too. Me three. Really? You both seem so so confident. Ha! Maybe I should take up a career in acting? I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. Me three. De dead dead <laughs> Of course, we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right, thanks! <laughs> okay. Okay. I am saving here. I am ending the stream here. Fuck me sideways. That was... That legitimately hurt. I... I I know it was pretty obvious by how I was acting after that, but God, that that loss legitimately hurt. Nope, 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 nope. Fuck you, fuck you. We're not doing this. Actually, you know what? We need music. The Wii music. There we go. I have a save, so it'll be fine. I just wanted the music for the ending thing. But thank you, Orc, so much for being my moral support. Fuck you, SciTech, if you're still watching this, for making me have to ble uh, ban all those accounts. Seriously, fuck you. <sighs> I hope you have a good day. Thanks again, Orc. Bye, everyone. that I was on the BRB screen instead of this of the ending screen.